hello guys welcome to the crib if it's your first time here welcome thank you for tuning in i'm cozy and i love 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 to listen and talk about faith stories and um other random interesting subject like what we have on ground today i'm sitting beside um <laughs> this handsome young man and um let me introduce him to you guys um this is mr francis wiki right yeah. The CEO Shishi Foundation, a girl child foundation. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. Yeah. Well, I'm Francis Nweki. Okay. Uh, um, That's just it. Yeah, He's trying to the be home. Shishi <laughs> Foundation CEO. Okay. Yeah. Hanging out uh, with the best cozy creep I saw. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. I think that's a compliment. I celebrate you. Thank you very much. I celebrate you too. Okay. Um, thank you. We are so really, really happy to have you like on camera. It's really good to have you, sir. Thank you so much for coming over. It's a pleasure. Man. Yeah, thank you, sir. And um it's actually the first time I'll be missing you in person. So guys, if you sense maybe nervous, you have to <laughs> pardon that. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I was seeing Mr. Francis. We've been chatting, we've been talking but it's our first um life scene right That's true. so um we've been talking and you've told me some things about your foundation yeah i know at least some things about um the foundation the shishi foundation i know it's a girl child foundation established to empower girls empower ladies right yeah and I'm not in the right position to tell you everything about it because I don't know everything about it. I just know little about it. And with the little I know, I think I'm so much interested. And I love the work you're doing, sir. I love it so much. So um, tell us a little bit about your foundation. Well, uh, thank God uh, you've been able to hit the point well. Yeah. I mean, uh, with the name Shishi Foundation, okay. is practically... Uh, a female foundation. Okay. Yeah, we've been. Uh, the foundation is targeted to help female ladies okay. on every ramification of their life, particularly. Wow. Yeah. So um, I don't know, but I believe that uh, before the video ends, you're going to know more deeper things, and so as time goes mm -hmm. on, and so. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, when I heard Shishi Foundation, a female foundation um being established by a man <laughs> not a woman <laughs> i'm a woman and this you know this kind of burden this kind of um vision for the female gender by a man why not men why why girls yeah, uh, well i i myself i'm even i am so privileged that the spirit leads <laughs> yeah i'm so privileged okay. pioneering this move okay. with no be standing okay. because I, I as it were when i i was supposed to i, I was starting the foundation okay. i know what i faced around with no be standing but okay. I, it's actually my strength to do it today wow yeah thank god and um the shishi foundation definitely you don't see any establishment just spring out of the blues you know things don't just come up you just wake up one morning and like i want to establish a foundation it's a girl foundation this is what no definitely there must have been some inspiration what inspired you to you know establish this foundation what was your inspiration what did you see what need did you um see what space or gap did you see in your environment in your society that inspired you to establish this foundation okay well um you know, from my own environment and as it were, I, I, I've been, I grew up in a place where uh, parents barely have time for their children. And so most uh, parents just, you know, they believe one third of the um, mothers, mm -hmm. one third, if I'm not mistaken, okay. uh, are actually school dropouts. Wow. So, um that already has affected the children who are actually, their upbringing yeah yes so i i think one of the day i was coming out of my house and i overheard some conversation within some children of uh the age of i think 10 if i'm not mistaken and Girls. the girl yeah and the girl was like uh my boyfriend gave me 
you like age of 10 <laughs> my boyfriend my boyfriend gave wow. me 500 naira when you were like, 10 like <laughs> i was uh, boyfriend at age 10 Jesus. like seriously wow it was something nice though that's their upbringing like for real yeah it's okay absolute. parents don't care about don't care. what their children are into at yeah. such tender age yeah if you were to be in my father's house <laughs> they're not born you away <laughs> like seriously <laughs> what <laughs> wow okay so that's one of the things that uh, yes so the, um meanwhile before then i think i had um uh, one or two encounter with uh, arome osai okay yeah i was in in a meeting with him where I, in that meeting he he looked at me and he said that there are things that god is going to be revealing to me mm -hmm. within this tippers of three months okay. down the block so okay. uh I, yeah mm -hmm. so <laughs> I take it. within that period i I, when I I didn't even know because my I I didn't really I was thinking on another different thing. Okay. You get so yeah. I I just took that to be praying. Yeah. I I was precipitating over time yes. and so so when I got the vision clearly, yeah. I disclo disclosed it to my elder brother. Okay. So um, he was like him also for long had such kind of body for okay. young people, but okay. he doesn't know how to go about it. Okay. So I I I, I felt like it was. That burden was laid low on our family. Okay. You get. Oh, it's a family. Yeah. So the ministry is for the family. It's, it's a, yeah, you get. <laughs> wow. So I, I was really, really perplexed. Okay. With what when he said so, I was like, wow. You mean this thing, uh, like Just that? Just like a confirmation uh, of uh, yeah. yeah. So, but you know. I had the capacity, yeah. but he never had the capacity. Yes. So that's my the difference between I and yes, my yes. Wow. So um, you saw girls, you mm -hmm. saw young girls coming up, and then you saw their upbringing, you saw the kind of mentality they had about life. Yeah. You saw the way they were exposed at such tender age, and you felt, not that you felt, you were led. I was really led. Yes, and you were chosen <laughs> exactly. to be like... A rescue yeah. for those young people to open their eyes, right? Yes, ma. To see. That's that's really amazing. <laughs> I'm so lucky to be a girl child. <laughs> <laughs> so um definitely when you started up this um this whole foundation thing, okay, you must have had goals like objectives. What were your visions? What did you hope from the beginning to achieve through this foundation in the lives of girl children? Well, you know, when when I they, they, I had this mindset from the the one okay. that you don't live for yourself, you live for people. Okay. Yeah, wow. and the, you know the greatest investment in life is humanitarian investment. Okay, good. Yeah. So I my my aim in life was I, I began I think I I was I got saved early sixteen seventeen. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I God thank God I had a very good mentor who. Okay who had time for us okay. now during then uh, he began to coach us show us the pathway yeah. began to show us a life of impact yeah. that you where you, you 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 are having needs but yet you're putting people prioritizing other people's needs to your yeah. compared to yours yeah. so uh the, like just like the foundation i my the aim was to get to the point where young girls can be uh, thank god sir it was through you my life has been affected. Okay. You get okay. because uh, we are we are currently in a time and age where young, uh, young people are less as fair. They, mm -hmm. because uh, they don't have anybody who will give them attention. Yes. They try to look for every means, and so that and possibly you get to see them a lot of them chatting with good uh, whosoever they want to chat on social media. And so mm -hmm. I wish I had time. There are video clips I even had, and so relatively to ladies. Okay. And I, which I believe is going to be very, very helpful okay. to most ladies, per se. Okay. So, um, when you go on your outreaches, yes, ma. When you get to gather girls around, okay. and you get to interact with them, okay. What are those things you talk about? Okay. What Fine. are those things you do to empower them? Okay. Now, um, it looks like uh, sex education is practically what is lacking. Um, per se, among young girls, among young girls. Yeah, and I, I, I feel most parents feel like teaching young girls about sex education now this is not it yeah. like I would like you, you, you get yeah. but it's practically something that is supposed you to be to, yeah. you get a yeah. mother supposed to come teach her daughter this thing so we each time we, we are privileged to go out we 
and conquer this area okay. we take our time we created a curriculum okay. that we follow and sometimes we have to you know environment matters because okay. you each time we want to invade the territory or um, an environment what we do we go, do a feasibility study okay. yeah before we enter there we try to study them we see what are those things that is ravaging them okay yeah so we it helped us out to be able to come in so that uh okay we teach them some some of them we talk about uh how to body guide themselves okay. cleaning up yes. you understand because yes. we're having a lot of girls who don't know how to clean up yes. I mean, and their it's... mothers don't even care about <laughs> that yes. like seriously there are ladies you sit with my god <laughs> they're just I'm stupid I'm <laughs> wow, so uh, that's a really um, wise move. Instead of going around castigating this female gender, some of you don't know how to do, do clean up. Some of you don't know this. Some of you don't know that. You rather reach out to them and help them, yeah, help them teach them out. what their parents were not able to um, teach them. Yeah, I like that. Um, Shishi Foundation is actually not a one man thing. Sure. Yes, you have team members you work with. Yeah, I do. You have people you work with, right? Yes, ma. So yeah. um, how are you able to? <laughs> how are you able to? This burden it was actually like a personal burden in okay, your heart. Yes. How are you able to pass down this burden to your team members to have the same vision that you have? Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. It looks like there's actually a grace around my life, though, <laughs> with no withstanding. It takes a lot of grace <laughs> to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I myself was really, really um, surprised with okay. the turn up at okay. which everyone, every young folk I shared it with, they picked up the vision. Uh, they, picked uh, up the vision. they were like, mm, wow, this hallelujah. is uh, amazing. Yeah. I was, I, I myself, it's actually a testimony. A now, it's, 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 a, it's a proof that uh, uh, if, if thought I never made a move, hmm. uh, those young people who are attached to this foundation, I, I I, I would have not helped them out mm. to show them or not their, where their destiny lies. Yeah. You get. Yeah. So I, I was really, really amazed really? when I, each lady I shared it with, they buy into it. Yeah, just I, like I'm buying into it. Yeah. <laughs> I love your foundation, sir. Thank you I so much. I love the work you're doing. Thank and you, uh, I'm saying hi to Shishi Foundation team members. You guys are really doing a great job. Like, this is amazing. This is good. Like, well done, guys. Like, well done. Well done, guys. So, um, Shishi Foundation has been up for a while. Yes. And definitely, you must have gone through some challenges while setting this up, right? Yes. So, what are those challenges you feel you've... Those milestones, those challenges you feel you must have crossed over okay, well, to be where you are now? Okay, <laughs> it's actually a stepping stone. Yeah, definitely, you get. yeah. Now, uh, with no withstanding, mm. you know, starting off a foundation, first I have to deal with the matter of discouragement from some, some of my friends. Oh God, yeah. So uh, some of them are like, ah, you want to start off a foundation? Okay. Where's the finance? Whoa. You need, you need, you need capital to, yeah. to with no, and they, they were actually correct. Yes, definitely. Uh, I, you can't push such kind of big, you know, at the moment I myself, I went back to God. I'm like, goodness, Lord, you want me to pioneer such kind of a big uh, activity that what's millions and so yeah so but you but start from somewhere i started from scratch you don't have to you don't start from the millions <laughs> no, no. What, you start what, from I started, yeah you start from the you know yeah you know the, just like what the bible say you, you say despise not the days of your little beginning exactly I, I i think i have some of the video clip of how we started yes now uh it wasn't funny though yeah. because when you it's the video the, the sorry the the picture had how we dress, you know that we are still coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you yes, know. Yes. So uh, our appearance and how our modalities, how yes. we are handling the people. Yes, yes, yes. But my my greatest joy was even despite when I was weakened, mm. I, I still those same cliques of people who God has risen mm. to for the foundation mm. as my team keep giving me the encouragement. Yeah. So I I was really really perplexed on that matter. Mm. I with no withstanding, there's still more though. There's still more challenges. <laughs> Faithful is he who has called you. Yeah. Also you know God cannot call a man to do something and then leave him. It's true. You're correct. Uh, while he's going through those challenges, right? You're correct. In those your challenges, I'm sure the grace that called you 
was there upon you to carry you through yeah. so apart from financial challenges and discouragement for people are your parents um aware about this yeah your family my my family are actually aware of it they support I, you I, uh, yes they support you they, they gave me the push how about the church the church, uh, <laughs> we, uh, you know, there, it's actually a volunteer work. Okay, yeah. So there was a time I, we intend to offer um, volunteer uh, Services, to, yeah. to some people. to the church, and they're like, they didn't say anything. Okay. So you know, sometimes you create your own platform. Yes. If the church refuses to give you platform, you create your platform. Definitely. So that's one thing. I, you know, I, I, I created. I looked at that means. I like goodness. If I have to wait for the church to give me a platform, then it will take donkey Ooh, years. Yeah. So I, I, we started going into streets. Okay. We hit on, we storm a certain pl pl point. I, I don't know, influence. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're, we're coming to your point. And Come. you're like, so, <laughs> so you get. Everybody <laughs> was willing to yeah. receive. And one of the challenges though with no standing was from some of the people we started with. Some of them were like, Ah, uh, so, so, I don't know. The at the moment, some of them became was going backward, okay. like because they, they feel as if they wasn't the the joining the foundation will just capitally uh, enrich them mm. automatically. Okay. So and it wasn't so. You know, teamwork okay. wow. make dream work. Wait, you mean they came in for the purpose of yeah the gain the gain. What this is an NGO? <laughs> you already. To Wait, guys, like, this is an NGO, isn't it? <laughs> when you come into an NGO to, uh, to render your services, you are there to, to give, to offer yourself, not yeah. to... Re you, you're not particular about the, the receiving. You're sure. there to give out. Yeah. That was why I asked you the question before, that how are you able to get them to like, think the same way with you? Yeah. I guess some of them, those people who are not on the same page with you as per heart, they were the ones who pulled out. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. so I guess so. God was actually purging your team, yeah, hey, like cleansing your team, right? He's just doing it in his own way. Wow, that's lovely. So, um, definitely, I'm sure that you must have had exploits and testimonies, yes. great things that must yes. have happened through this, um, through this movement. Please tell us about some of your testimonies. Okay. Well, uh, I think the last time we we did an empowerment skill, which we we were able to pull down. One of the barristers in town, okay. uh, she, she, who spoke with the young folks there. Wow, okay. Yeah, I think after the what's it called the the, the meeting, we were able to catch some few people okay. to tell us more if they really really they were happy about this. You know, my greatest joy was that um, mm. one of the greatest testimony we had was meeting the king of Kuali. Wow. Now, when, the first time he, he got to hear just about the foundation, yeah. he was like, goodness, that, that this is what he has been looking for. Wow, the king? Yeah. Wow. That the, he has been looking for such kind of foundation for long, all throughout his sitting as, as king. He has been looking, because uh, when I, I think when I left the, the, his, uh, his palace, I made a little research. It was then I discovered that one third of the, the news or uh, what he handles every day was m m matters of ladies. Wow. Yeah. So we, even him was like, he, he, he was more concerned, like, he, how are we get, guys going to get the phone? But he was really, really perplexed wow. with this. Like, seriously. He supported, he supported everything we were doing. Oh. He, he, and so, and I think uh, we even have mothers who have sit under our, what's it called, our meetings and the, they, they, they are like, they are really, really amazed okay. with our, um, with what we're doing, with no withstanding. Okay. Some of them have shared their testimony. They, I think there was one of the women who said that it was in, in our empowerment skill, she got to learn one skill. Wow. Yeah. That's all through our life. What are those skills to teach them? Uh, I think we just taught them the normal basic skill, making of uh, cupcake, uh, uh, peanuts, that that was the two thing we taught them for that they do. Okay. Yeah, and making of cake also. Okay. Yeah, those okay three things. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so, that's that's beautiful. At least with learning that alone, you should know that you can do some things with your hands. Sure. And be able to make your own money. You don't have boyfriends because you want them to keep you up financially. Like, why on earth would a ten year old girl have a boyfriend? What are you looking for? Like, I don't understand.
girls out there if you're watching this i really don't know what our world is turning into but let's support this great work let's support this honestly because i am in full support let's support this and um, realize this dream together of raising a generation of godly girls not just godly but girls who know their worth right yeah. and know their value mm -hmm. and don't give themselves out so cheaply you should know that your dream or the the plans god have for you is greater than what you can imagine right now and if you use what you have right now to destroy you know the plan that god has kept for you it's going to be really bad it's not going to be too good and you might not at the end acquire that dream so um it's nice having you here sir i'm so so excited that you're here and um i appreciate you for sharing with us thank you so um, much i love what you're doing and i urge you to keep it up on much. behalf of the crib i just want to appreciate you sir i just want to thank you i thank you uh team shishi foundation for this this wonderful interview this wonderful talk um please support this foundation because I'm giving my presence. I am giving, in fact, I am volunteering. I am part of you already. <laughs> so please support this foundation. It's a foundation coming up and uh, we need fund. I'm saying we because I'm already part of it. We need fund. We need money. Please, let's support. Let's do our best. Um, I'm going to be dropping the account details for the foundation right down the description box below. Please try to go there. Send whatever it is you can send. If you're not able to give your presence, and your you know physical strength into the work at least your money will speak for you please do and um god bless you guys i really appreciate you guys thank you again for watching this video thank you sir for coming around so i appreciate you so much so until our next video bye guys